Hi there, I'm Carlos Sanchez. I'm a real estate attorney here in the beautiful state of New Jersey. Everyone who buys a house should know that they should do an inspection of the property when they are going to buy. But did you know that there are more inspections than just the basics? In this video, I'm going to tell you what else is available and if you should order it. Inspections are done by licensed inspectors. A regular or a basic inspection involves the inspector coming out to the property to review the structure, the mechanical systems, they'll make sure that there are no wood destroying insects, and if there's a basement, the inspector will leave a radon canister to do a radon test. Radon is a gas that exists under everybody's home and in high enough concentrations can be carcinogenic. So you definitely want to test for radon. Okay, so that's the basic set of tests that you can do. Beyond that, the number one thing we tell people to order from their inspector is a tank sweep. A tank sweep is where an inspector comes out to the property with a fancy metal detector. It's called a magnetometer and they scan the area to make sure that there are no buried underground storage tanks, particularly oil tanks. You don't want to buy a piece of real estate with an oil tank in the ground. It's a risk of contamination in the future that you want no responsibility for. So in 90% of the cases where a tank is found, we ask the seller to remove it at the seller's cost. And if there's contamination, it'll be the seller's responsibility to clean it up. If you buy a piece of real estate with a tank in the ground, then you're taking the risk of your future buyer doing a tank sweep, and then it'll be your responsibility and your cost to clean up any contamination. Sometimes when a tank sweep is done, there's a reading that's anomalous. Nobody really knows whether it's a tank or not because it's maybe not shaped like a tank. At that point, what a seller can do is do something called an exploratory dig. Either the seller or the buyer can do this. This is where an inspector comes out to the house and they take a shovel and they dig a hole to see if it is in fact a tank or not. Sometimes it's just rebar that the home builder left there as garbage. Sometimes it's an abandoned septic tank which can stay in the ground. But if it's an oil tank, we as buyer's counsel will ask the sellers to remove it. The next specialized inspection a home buyer should consider doing is something called a sewer scope. A sewer scope is where an inspector sends a very flexible video camera down the sewer line. From the house to the street, that part of the sewer line actually belongs to the homeowner and it is the homeowner's responsibility to maintain it and fix it if it's broken. A sewer line can be clogged, they can have tree roots growing through it, it could be bent, crushed, bellied, anything that is off with a sewer line if it needs to be repaired is extremely expensive. I tell my clients that in order to dig up a sewer line and maybe install a new one costs as much as a car. Insurance may not cover the cost, so consider spending the few hundred dollars extra that it'll cost you to have an inspector send the video camera down that line. So in addition to a normal or regular inspection, a tank sweep and a sewer scope, there are many, many other tests that you can actually order from your inspector. A lot of times people ask me about lead paint, for example. But let me tell you, if the house was built before 1971 in New Jersey, or 1978 around the country, there will be a layer of lead paint right up against the wall. But from the 70s till now, that has probably been painted over many, many times. And so it's been properly encapsulated and it no longer causes a problem. But if you're unfamiliar about the age of the house, and if you fear that lead is going to be an issue, especially if you see peeling paint and you have a little one, you can order a lead paint test to be done. You can test for almost anything. You can hire an inspector to test for asbestos. You can test well water. Uh, if there's a septic system, you should absolutely have that septic system tested. If there's a pool, you should absolutely have that pool tested by an inspector who specializes in pool inspections. They will check out the gunite or the liner and all of the pool equipment, which could be really expensive to repair. You can even test for electromagnetic energy. So for example, in a house that's near power lines, you can actually hire an inspector to come out and test for EM. In short, 
If you're in doubt, a test is available. You can spend a fortune on inspections, so it's not necessarily worth to do everything, but you can if you want to. Ask your inspector, ask your agent to guide you as to what tests are available. Or if you hire me, I'll tell you. Remember, any negative results from your inspections will be reduced to a list that I will help you negotiate with the seller's attorney and the seller to repair before you buy their house. Thank you very much for your time. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.